um, when I originally started, I decided to uh, create these two titles, and I talked to uh, Toyama-san and Inoue-san and also Shigematsu-san, and then we uh, prepared. And then I had no one in mind how to, you know, go with the hardware uh, side. And then, of course, at the title we need a fund, money, and also we need a publisher. And around that time, uh, I was talking to uh, Maruyama-san and also uh, Hawaii-san from Microsoft. And Mar Mr. Maruyama was the one uh, who I worked with when I was uh, still working at uh, Square. And at that time, Mr. Mariano was working for U.S. sales of uh, Final Fantasy. So I had a very uh, strong trust with uh, Mr. Mariano. And also uh, Mr. Kawaii is the one uh, who uh, was working for uh, Final Fantasy 7 and 8 and 9. So I had this uh, personal network uh, relationship with these two people that, whom I really trust. So that's why I decided to go with Microsoft. So I think the graphics is the main part, like uh, prior generation, uh, you couldn't do certain things, for example, like the physical simulation, puts, uh, particularly water, shadow, light, and uh, smokes, those are the kind of things that we, we couldn't really uh, express, and plus high definition is another thing, and these things can be, uh, can be possible with uh, 360. And however, I don't really, I don't just want to create the, the pretty graphics. And beneath that, I would like to have a lot of uh, tricks and uh, work. So whenever uh, it's touched or uh, uh, it reacts, so there's a lot of surprises and exciting elements underneath the graphics. So of course I want the uh, I want the Xbox to uh, sell in Japan. So in a sense I look at the Japanese audience and I want Japanese audience to uh, have fun with this uh, the game. But uh, I am the original creator of a Final Fantasy. So uh, originally uh, Final Fantasy was uh, made for a Japanese audience. However, you know Final Fantasy had a worldwide hit. Ultimately. I'm looking at the uh, worldwide audience. So, of course, uh, I would like to see a huge number in uh, sales. However, before talking about that, and um, there are role play games these days, uh, they're getting so you know, old and there's no new elements into a role play game. So I would like a, a gamer to experience the fresh elements uh, in playing these, uh, these titles as a role play game. So that's why I, uh, I brought uh, Mr. Shigematsu into this project so that he can provide the new elements into that. So when, they, when the gamers play, they can feel some fresh feeling as an entertainer, I think I, I think that we would need to uh, provide that kind of element. So I think once the gamers find the freshness and the excitement into this game, the success will fall. Japanese uh, software houses are not really active. That's why I decided to uh, do these two projects. So I intend to put, put the innovative uh, elements into these two projects. So. I think it's very important to uh, provide a freshness uh, as an entertainer. So I had many colleagues that I worked with in Japan, so I would like those people to be successful, and so I want them to uh, be part of my project. And I'm not necessarily saying that uh, we want the Japanese, I want to see the Japanese you know, winning in this industry, but I want you know, my colleagues to do well. Uh, currently, we are in the process of trying different types, uh, but the touch is more like a cartoonish, and however, the shading uh, environment is more like a, a global illumination, so like a lighting is more like a realistic. So Toyama's design is cute, however, the game system can be very complicated, so you know, there's a lot of uh, Death. So just like the Dragon Quest, uh, you know, they have in Final Fantasy, they have a job change. 
So just like these uh, uh, shadows have the same uh, similar purpose, so you can cultivate the, the shadows and you can obtain the different uh, skills and then you com uh, combine those skills and tricks. So in essence, it's not a strategy, it's like a power up, so you, you know, the, as the, the character goes, it grows. So in Blue Dragon, it, as you saw, it has uh, shadows, so you would use some of the shadows uh, has like a magical um, effect, and some of them have um, like a fighting effect. So in total, there's about 200 skills you can have, and you will combine those and then use that in RPG. And as you go, you can uh, refine that. Also in Lost Odyssey, it's a different system, but it's, uh, it's kind of the same. So you can grow and you can refine it and play the game. Shu has just drawn shadow, yeah, but many kind of shadow, shadow mm -hmm. drum, yeah, like right, muscle, mm -hmm. dragon shadow, mm -hmm. or a tiny one. Yes, uh, many times. Uh, Good has Phoenix. Phoenix means uh, day sun, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she lost uh, parents mm -hmm. and she feels always she feels about this. Mm -hmm. So her shadow is Phoenix. Mm -hmm. yeah, like Will the combat system be uh, turn based like Final Fantasy series? Uh, new system. System. New, new system. system. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Kiyoshi Shigematsu is part of this project, so um, we didn't see this kind of element in video game, like a family or some emotional elements that brings tears into your eye. So it was only with that we can't create a video game. So main uh, story in a video game is like a fighting and those are the main elements. But um, this time I would like to put those kind of emotional uh, kind of elements into a video game. <laughs> <laughs> so in this world it has some kind of mechanical part, like a magical uh, power is part of it. So it has an industrial revolution happens and then a lot of uh, uh, political events happen. But as you saw, main character, uh, he lived for a thousand years and he can't die so he has a thousand years of memories and in that thousand years memory uh, there's a lot of emotional parts in it so there's uh, the, the mystery why he can't die so it's a little bit different from Final Fantasy in that area if the character can't die then how does the player uh uh, I mean, he's immortal. How, yeah. do, how does so, that work? So, yeah, I make a new system. Okay. Four. How does he get punished, the character, uh, the player, for doing wrong things? No, he did. He doesn't die. <laughs> is there a punishment system? How do you go game over? Game over. So, mostly, it won't go game over. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes it might, but. Mr. Inoue's work, uh, uh, Vagabond. It's about Musashi Miyamoto, and so it, you know, tells the life story of uh, Musashi Miyamoto. So it's a very deep philosophical uh, story. So that's why, you know, I like that style. That's why I decided to work with him. So those people are, you know, my old colleagues, so I want them to uh, create a uh, good work too because I want to make these two titles the best titles, uh, best titles, so when they see my, you know, two of these titles and they are stimulated, they want to make better one, so that's good because they get stimulated, so overall in the industry we could create a good uh, work. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.